Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n to the power of 3036 plus n to the power of 2024 is equals to 36. And we will solve this problem for the real values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first I can rewrite this equation as here you have n to the power of 3036 and we will write it as 3 times of 1012 plus similarly here we can write this 2024 as 2 times of 1012 and this whole is equals to 36 and now we can apply here the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m and whole is equals to a to the power of m times of n so this nice exponential law means that or tells us that if you have exponent to the exponent and if you can interchange these two exponents then it is always gives the same answer so now we can write these two exponents as n to the power of 1012 and its whole cubed plus here we can write this as n to the power of 1012 and its whole squared is equals to 36 and now we will uh, uh, some uh, substitution here uh, in order to convert this nice exponential equation into the uh, cubic form so that here I can take y is equals to n to the power of 1012 so when you can put here y is equals to uh, n to the power of 1012 then this equation will becomes y cubed plus y squared is equals to 36 and now we can move this 36 in the left hand side uh, and you get here y cubed plus y squared minus 36 is equals to 0 and now we can uh, trying to solve this cubic equation by making the factors of this equation so that here I can rewrite this equation as y cubed plus y squared here you have minus 36 and I can write it as minus 27 minus 9 is equals to 0 and now I can rearrange the terms and I can make the pairs of cubic terms and the square terms. So here you have y cubed minus here you have 27 and we can write this 27 as 3 cubed. Similarly, plus here you get y square minus here you have 9 and we will write it as 3 square is equals to 0. So that here we can use here the two nice formulas the first formula is if you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and the other formula which i can use here is a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we can apply here these two nice formulas in the above term so now first i can apply here the cubic formula in this term and you get here y minus 3 times of y squared plus 3y plus 3 squared plus now we can apply here the second formula in the second term and here you obtain y minus 3 times of y plus 3 is equals to 0 and now you can simplify the terms and here you see that we have the common term is y minus 3 so that we take common y minus 3 from both of the terms and you get y squared plus 3y plus here you have 3 squared it is equals to 9 plus here you get y plus 3 and this whole is equals to 0 so now we can simplify the terms and here you get y minus 3 times of here you obtain y square plus 3y plus y is equals to 4y and 9 plus 3 is 
12 and whole is equals to 0 so that here we have two cases the first case is we take y minus 3 is equal to 0 and the other case is we take y square plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0 so in this case you get the value of y is 3 and because in the start of the question i am uh, tells us that uh, in this question we need only real roots so that uh, i can solve this problem for the real values so now we can check this quadratic equation has real roots or not by using the discriminant formula so that here we have a is equals to 1 b is equals to 4 and c is equals to 12 and our discriminant formula delta is equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac so now first i can a uh, little bit explain this uh, uh, discriminant so here you know that if the, the value of this delta is less than zero then we can say that this quadratic equation has no real roots and if this quadratic equation has or if this delta is greater than zero then we can say that this quadratic equation has two real roots and after that if our given quadratic equation has value or this delta has values equals to zero then we can say that this quadratic equation has one real root so now we check the behavior of uh, uh, the given quadratic equation by substituting the values of a b and c here uh, so that you will got here delta is equals to b square and b is 4 squared minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 so here you get the 4 square is equals to 16 minus 4 times of 12 is 36 and 16 minus 36 is equals to minus 20 and here you see that our delta is less than zero and i can say that if this delta is less than zero then given quadratic vein has no real roots so that here i can just write it has no real root because here uh, we need only the real roots so that we will reject it this case and i can just proceed here this case only and in the start of the question we will take the value of y is equals to n to the power of 1012 and now we can back substitute the value of y so that here you get n to the power of 1012 is equals to third uh, sorry is equals to 3 and now you can find the value of n so that here i can take the 1012 through power on both of the sides so that you get n to the power of 1012 and its whole power 1 over 1012 is equals to 3 over 3 to the power of 1 over 1012 and here you see that this 12 are gone and here you get the value of n is equals to 3 and its index is 1012 and this is the value of the n and this is our final answer so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos